Greetings all and welcome to Algo Fox Academy. In the last two lesson, we saw some interesting features of trading view. In today's video, we are going to address one major problem while automating any trading strategy from a trading platform and that is repainting of signals. Now a lot of times you might have observed that on charts with indicators, signal gets generated and within few seconds it disappears and generates back. This nature of indicators is called as repainting nature and if you are automating any strategy that is repainting in nature, it can create major losses. In today's video, we are going to learn what exactly is repainting indicator, what causes it and how you can solve this problem. In today's video, I am going to teach you in detail about repainting nature of indicators with simple strategy and then we are going to solve this problem not by one, two but three different methods. So let's dive into my trading view account and let's understand the repainting nature of the indicator. On Reliance, I have some random indicator. I'm just going to delete it. Now, first, I'm just going to show you what exactly do we mean by repainting indicator. And then we're going to talk about the solutions on how exactly to solve that. So I'm just going to take a simple example of moving average crossover. So I've already designed a code for moving average crossover. I'm just going to apply it here to apply any strategy that you develop. All you have to do is go to pine editor here. So in the pine editor, you will see I already have a code for my previous strategy. I'm just going to click on open and then click on create new strategy. The moment I click on create new strategy, a small template from trading view will open. I'm just going to click on control A and delete the entire script. So now this is an empty canvas and I can write the setup that I want. Now, since I've already written the code, I'm just going to paste it here. And this is exactly how the strategy would look like. Now, before I tell you how exactly repainting indicators looks like on the chart, let us understand the logic in detail. I'm just going to maximize the coding panel. So this is how the panel looks like. And here, this is the code. If you know a little bit about coding knowledge, you will understand how exactly this code would work. If you don't know about coding, don't worry. As I said, we can develop setups for you. But for your reference, just understand how exactly repainting concept works. Now here in this strategy, I have given two inputs length one and length two. These are the inputs to be given by user. So user can give any input in length one and length two and those length one and length two are used as variable for EMA. TA is technical analysis EMA. These are these are the inbuilt indicators on trading view. So I have plotted two moving average. One is fast moving average represented by length one. The other is slow moving average represented by length two. And then we have plotted both fast moving average and slow moving average by the function plot. Now to take trades, it is very simple for long entry. Whenever fast moving average cross over the slow moving average, we are going to take a long entry. And for short entry, whenever fast moving average will cross below or cross under the slow moving average, we are going to short for every long entry and for every short entry we have also given plotting represented by plot shape in the plot shape i have given the style as arrow up and arrow down instead of arrow up i can even write it as triangle up or triangle down but right now i have arrow up and arrow down that means for every entry that would be generated during long or short an arrow would appear on the chart now the strategy is ready i'm just going to click on add to chart the moment i add it on the chart you will see the two line appearing here however if you zoom in a little bit you will also see this green color arrow represented here as a buy signal similarly if i go back you will see a small red color arrow here which is representing short signal so now the strategy is very simple whenever blue color line crosses above the yellow color line a buy signal would be generated 
वेन एवर ब्लू कलर लाइन क्रॉसेज डाउन येलो कलर लाइन अ शॉर्ट सिग्नल वुड बी जनरेटेड द स्ट्रैटेजी लुक्स वेरी सिंपल सो फार एज अ ले मैन यू विल फील दैट ओके इन दिस स्ट्रैटेजी देर इज नो कोडिंग एरर बट वेन वी आर गोइंग टू एग्जीक्यूट इट इन द रियल टाइम यू विल नोटिस how exactly the strategy will misbehave now what i notice here is that this arrows are very small and they are not clearly visible so i'm just going to go to pine editor scroll down and here instead of arrow up i'm just going to say triangle up i'm going to use function triangle up and here again instead of arrow down i'm going to use a triangle down and click on add to chart the moment i click on add to chart now these are comparatively bigger arrows so i think they are good for a reference now to check whether a particular strategy is working well or not we use a function called as a bar replay so to showcase you how exactly signal repaints i'm just going to take a bigger time frame maybe let us say a 15 minutes chart and on 15 minutes chart so right now you can see that if i max zoom Zoom in a little bit. There is this red color arrow on this candle, where blue color line has crossed below this yellow color line. So this is where the short signal has appeared. Because at this point, if you would observe, blue color moving average value is two five three six point zero one, and yellow color moving average value is two five three six point two three, represented in the dashboard. and since blue color line is below yellow color line a short signal has appeared now what i'm going to do is to check whether the signals are plotted properly or not we always use a function called as bar replay i'm just going to click on this replay button and just go around two candles behind the red color signal and now i'm just going to click on play the moment i click on play the bar replay will start we have discussed in detail what exactly is bar replay in our previous videos Now you will see that 15 minutes candle will be plotted and you will see right now blue color line is above yellow color line so there is no short signal generated and now you will see the short signal has generated and it has disappeared so i'm just going to go back a little bit again and i'm just going to showcase you again notice here till this point blue color line is above yellow color line and now blue color line is about to cross yellow color line it has crossed signal has generated and it has disappeared in the same candle we got a short signal it got disappeared and then on the next candle the signal again got generated so this is exactly what we it is when we talk about repainting nature of indicator now i'm going to explain you why this happens if you see the code of the strategy we are defining moving average both fast and slow based upon closing price of the candle 90% of the indicators that we use their values are derived based upon candle close and since in the live market the candle is yet to be completed it is not closed every new tick that candle will form will be considered as the latest close and if the tick goes up and down wildly it would affect moving average values the average values of blue and yellow color moving average and sometimes in the live candle blue color moving average will go below yellow color moving average and suddenly it will trace back above the yellow color moving average because of which the signals would appear and then disappear and then again they will appear in next candle so this nature of indicator is called as repainting nature now that we have understood what exactly is repainting nature of indicator we have to solve this problem now there are three ways to solve this problem i am going to address all the three solutions one by one the first and the easiest solution is basically to change the variable that is causing the issue now in our code clearly closing of the candle is causing this issue because till the candle is live and open we cannot determine closing of the candle If I use open instead of close let us say if I change this variable and use open then the signal will become non repainting in nature because as soon as candle is plotted the opening price is derived now this open price will not change yes high low and close of the candle will keep fluctuating till the candle is complete 
बट वंस द कैंडल एज स्टार्टेड टू फॉर्म द ओपनिंग प्राइस ऑफ द कैंडल विल स्टे देर इट सेल्फ इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू रीपेंट सो इफ आई यूज ओपन इंस्टेड ऑफ क्लोज दैट मीन्स I am now fixing the variables. This will ensure that the moving average values will not change at all. Now, now if the moving average values will not change during the candle formation, there won't be any repainting of signals also. So I've just changed from close to open, and if I click on Add to Chart, look what happens. You will see the new formula has generated a signal one candle after this signal. So there is a comparison between the previous signal and the new signal. The new signal is plotted one candle after the previous formula. It is because it is getting confirmation on the next candle open. Just to showcase you how exactly this works. I am just going to hide the previous formula and keep the new formula, which is basically getting plotted on opening of the candle. Now, if I run the bar replay, let us say I'll go one candle beyond. If I run the bar replay, you will notice if the candles are fluctuating, our blue and yellow color line will not fluctuate at all. Let me just show it to you. The reason why blue and yellow color moving average will not fluctuate is because they are dependent upon opening price of the candle. Once the opening is determined, that's it. Till the entire candle, there won't be any fluctuation in blue and yellow color line. So since there is no fluctuation in those blue and yellow color line, the signal will not repaint. So first way to address the repainting nature of the candle, as you can see here. is just by simply shifting the indicators plotting instead of close shifting it to open now this is one way bringing back the original formula where it got it used to plot signals one candle before on the candle close and the latest formula plots on the opening of the next candle now there is one more way to ensure the signals are non repainting in nature to do that i'm just going to remove the open based moving average and show you the second way to ensure your formulas are not repainting in nature to do that i'm just going to delete this formula and add the new formula the only difference bit in this formula is in the long entry and short entry i have used a function called as bar state is confirmed now this is a special function from trading view bar state is confirmed basically works on the last tick of the candle that means if i'm using bar state dot is confirmed it would bring in the entries and exit condition only on the last tick of the candle so our main problem was that in the live candle every new tick was considered as the last tick and if i'm using bar state dot is confirmed any new tick will no longer be considered as the last tick only the last tick of the candle would be considered as true last tick and this will solve my problem so if i click on add to chart now you will see the arrows are plotting on the same candle but this time the arrow plotted are not repainting in nature just to showcase you i'm just going to go maybe again to a bar replay and go go just one candle beyond the short signal and i'm just going to hide the repainting signal and this signal is non repainting now i'm just going to click on play button here you will see that moving average values will fluctuate but the signal arrow will not come till the last tick so you will see now moving average has crossed over blue color line has come below yellow color line but you are not getting any signal till the very last tick only if the signal becomes true on the last tick of the candle the signal would be generated so you will see if the candle closes here the signal would be generated yes now you can see when the candle is closed on the opening of next candle you got a signal generated on a previous candle So when we use bar state is confirmed after the confirmation on the last tick of the candle the signal would be generated this is the second way and the third way which is taking the confirmation on the previous candle if the signal is true on the previous candle you take entry on the opening of next candle i'm just going to show you that also so this is when bar state is confirmed formula 
I'm just going to replace this entire formula with third solution that is shifting the entry by one candle. Now this is how the formula looks like. You have everything same length one, length two, fast EMA, slow EMA. But when you see long entry, you will see long entry is fast, slow, but in the box we have one one indicates one candle behind that means if the confirmation is one candle behind generate entry on the current candle this is the difference so if i click on add to chart you will see the fresh entries are one candle later this is the original repainting signal and after completion of this candle we are generating signal on the next candle so basically we are telling that if the signals are generated in the previous candle if it is confirmed then send me a signal on the next candle so if i show you the bar replay how exactly the process looks like look at this i'm just going to run the bar replay again and you will see the original repainting signal will generate first after the confirmation on the next candle our true signal will generate all right so you will see signal got confirmed on this candle and then on next candle we got our non repainted entries so totally there are three ways to ensure you get rid of repainting nature of a indicator one is basically shifting the value from close to open a static value second using bar state is confirmed function in trading view and third is shifting the entry to next candle for a better confirmation now that we have three methods i'm just going to put all the three methods of non repainting and repainting charts all together and show you the differences again to summarize so i'm just Going to select any random stock maybe say nifty on nifty i'm just going to keep the original repainting signal and i'm just going to add it to the chart this is the repainting nature i'm going to select three more charts total of four charts one two three four and i'm just going to add bar that is confirmed on one chart and then instead of close select open on another chart and finally on the last chart shift the entries by one candle and when i see all of them together this is how it looks like i'm just going to put nifty charts in all of them yeah, so we have nifty charts in all of them now and you will see that on some charts we have entries at three o'clock and on some charts we have entry at 315 that is after the confirmation of signal generation so that's it for today. I hope you guys have understood what exactly is repainting nature and how to get rid of it. Remember when you're doing automation, when you want to take trades automatically from trading view or any other platform, you have to use only and only non repainting signals. If you will use repainting signals, the entries would generate multiple times which can give big losses to your portfolios. So that's it for today. I hope you guys have liked this session. If you have liked, do like this video, subscribe to our channel and comment in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video with few more interesting things. See you in the next lesson.